what is up? Risk takers. Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy and welcome to Fix Friday, baby. You know, a little fixed world on. Classic. Look at that North America spawn. I did not have sexual relation with that woman. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see if uh, I can deal with the burpee. The purple is. Oh, fuck. How do you feel about uh, General Nagu? Why don't you uh, move out of my bonus into South America or something? We cool? We cool with that? Just attack south. It'll be fine. Okay. The settings. Classic fixed world domination auto with a 90 second turn timer. Bounce blitz dice. Neutral AI. If anyone bots out, they don't come back, ideally. Uh, Alliance says yes. No fog, no blizz, no portals. I'm in the first seat playing Magenta. Life threw lots of crap at me. Sorry to hear that, cool Tim. I'm glad to see you're still here. And your absence has been noted, so. Chicken wonton, thank you for the bits, man. <laughs> Do we know if Glenn was talking about Lewinsky or his wife? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Monica Lewinsky jokes, you know? They never get old. Unlike Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so Green's going to try and block. <clears throat> Okay, so now I have to let purple out. Otherwise, purple kills himself to kill me. Do you like attacking green or do you want to attack me? Oh, he wants in Africa. That's also fine. Just attack green. Break green, dude. He wants Europe. Smart play. The four moves to the five. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And the sub. Thank you, Chicken Wonton. Thank you so much. People are very generous on the stream. See, I don't know how I can work with green is the problem. Does red want to work with me? Does blue? Good morning, Barack. What's shaking? Okay, so blue is also in Europe, or does blue go Africa? Yeah, blue goes Africa. That's fine. Oh! <laughs> I love that. Thank you, blue. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what's up, G-Man? Thank you so much. G-Man with the tier one sub. Poor Blue. I don't feel bad for Blue. I feel bad for Green. A little bit. Let's do it, Perpy. It's been one of those rare moments where me and Perpy Boy work together. Let's go, G-Man. Love that. Okay. Yeah, work with for I'm working. I'm not working with purple. I'm working with General Nagu because he's gonna neget out of my n bonus. Spud, <laughs> come on. <laughs> he's not negating out of my n bonus. What is he doing? What are you doing? Why is he in? Ah. Oh. Best color. <laughs> what is it about purple you love so much? 
He's best. He's best, bro. Okay, he manuals a 4v2 instead of blitzing it. Now he's losing his troops. And... He's protecting green. Hmm. All right, well, now the only question is, does green ally up? <laughs> what does blue do now? <laughs> Oh, and we get the 10 set on three. You protected green to get him strong so I can't hold NA. If if purple thinks that I'm going to do anything other than suicide into him for that bullshit, he's got another thing coming. You get the fuck out of my bonus right now. <laughs> I'm playing as if I have a set on three. I do have a set on three. Right? If green breaks, I kill him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And if purple stays in my bonus, I kill him. Purple's not an ally, then he dies. Then he gets lowest. <laughs> Good luck. He doesn't know I have a 10 set on three. I'm going to kill you. I'm, if that stack doesn't leave my bonus right now, you're dead. Ah, what's up, Samoyed TV? Thanks so much. Well played. I'm going to stay cool with green, I think. I'm not going to militarize Mexico, um, Venezuela. Can we maybe hunt the, gr uh, the blue kill? Being first to act is significant when you play the way I do, right? I play, like, a very aggressive bully style. You know, apparently you can't even say bully in a YouTube thumbnail. Okay, blue's going to come into my bonus now. No, he's just going to sit in Europe. Okay. Yep. Stay good with green. Green get a plus five out of this deal. Me and green actually win this game now. <laughs> you normally see, or not normally, but you often see the the tension here kill the North America, South America player. But in this in this board, me and green can actually win the game together. You just made a thumbnail saying I'm being bullied. Okay, so. I'm not sure what detected, what auto detected, um, but I had a video. So my video on Free Pete today, um, I made a thumbnail that said, you can't bully me, I'm the bully. Um, 
and then it said limited ad suitability. So I switched it to something without text, and it was fine. So the, don't, it's just an anecdote. It might not be. Take take the anecdote for what it is. It's not data. But this video is currently yeah, currently full monetization. I called it the re-raise, and the thumb has no. The thumb has no text, and it's one out of ten. Fuck yeah. I do like the one out of tens. Those put me in a good mood. It's nice to know that your work is being appreciated. All right. Does red have the blue kill? I think they do. I just watched the re-raise this morning. Thank you, G-Man. Hope you like the show. Black was a dummy in that game. Yeah, Black was, uh, honestly, Black was an expert. It's cool. I think Black Black's play that game exemplifies expert. Hi, Pete. Hope you're well. Thank you. I hope you're well, too, Mr. Betson. Uh, do only certain views increase monetization or can I watch a video for five seconds? It would help. No. If you watch a video for five seconds, it hurts. Um, it would... I'm getting sued! I'm getting sued by Blue! No, don't do Blue! Let's be friends! Okay, we're, we're friends. We're friends. I love you. Love you. I love you. Best friends. Don't sue me. I don't trust that 15 stack. <laughs> um, if you watched a video for five seconds and clicked off, you would be training the YouTube algorithm to think two things. Um, you'd be training the YouTube algorithm to think that you didn't like it. And you would be training the YouTube algorithm to think that my subscribers or my viewers didn't like it. So that's actually quite bad. Don't do that. If, especially not if you're trying to help. <laughs> if you're trying to help a creator, don't do that. Honestly, I often say to people, don't overthink this. The YouTube algorithm is is pretty good meritoriously. Um, if you want to help a creator, right? If you if you like their show and you want to help them, the number one by far most important thing you can do, just watch the show. I'm kid. I'm not even kidding. Like, just watch, enjoy their content, watch it, right? Watch it the normal way you would want to watch it, and that will teach the algorithm that you like it. And the algorithm will continue to show you more of it. It's as simple as that. You don't have to. You don't have to really try in any sort of special way to to support. And I mean, obviously, you can donate, and that's always super appreciated. Um, but if you want to help in a non-monetary sense, watch. Spend hours. Yeah, like, sub, and comment. That works too. Subscribe to the show. Like the show. Comment on the show. Those things do work for engagement, but they are not as the real engagement is hours watched, right? Click through rate. Um, do you do you see the video and click it? And retention. Once you are on it, do you stay on it? Um, missed a question from Josh says. Oh man, I don't think I've ever caught a live stream before. Hello. No, it says it says first time chatter, so I would I would agree with that assessment. Do you actually enjoy risk, or do you see it more of a job? I love this game. Don't sue me. Okay. I love this game. I do. He's going to sue Green again. <laughs> what the fuck is Blue doing? <laughs> so as far as it being my job, it has become my job. So I spent full-time hours on this hobby for years, right? Trying to build the community, build my own sort of competitive ability. I was very interested in learning how to be the best risk player I could be. Um, and now the skill acquisition is quite asymptotic to zero. We're, we're, we're not really learning a ton more. We, we, feel, we still do learn some things, but the game for me has then become the job part of it, right? The game for me has become, how do I run a YouTube channel? 
and make a living doing that. And that's a very fun game. And I use Risk for that. Um, but as far as do I actually enjoy it, I think if I didn't actually enjoy it, you guys would know. You guys would be able to feel the inauthenticity um, in my presentation, right? I, I, I think a key piece of the secret sauce of video game television is, is the player um, having fun? Is the guy you're watching having a good time? And I, I think that's a non-negotiable, frankly. Are they having fun? Um, and that resonates with you and that feels authentic with you, I would hope, right? G-Man says, 90% of my YouTube page is Pete's videos. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. You're, you're in the fucking rabbit hole now. Hi, my name is Pete. I'm a top player of the game. Rest of global domination. I do week this week. Wait a minute. Uh, MX Home says, I watch your show like a podcast every night on my way to and from work. Two videos a day is like my Pete medication. Thank you, man. Have you ever been to Italy? No, I'd love to go to Italy. Do we kill blue here? Nathaniel says, all right, I got my bronze medal. Congrats, Nathaniel. Go get it. Don't block me. Don't block the kill. Oh, he's taking the kill. Oh, fuck. Red took the kill. Now he's sitting on five cards. Oh, no. He is sitting on five I want purple in there. Purple showed loyalty. Great dice, yes. Um, do it, killer red. I did. <laughs> I would go to Italy for the history, and I'd go to Italy for the food. And those are two things that I would. Oh man, I would love to see those. Like not the touristy stuff necessarily, but like the the ancient places where people have been for that. Like I love Roman history. I love the architecture, the art, the history, all of that. It's really fast. So I, yes, Italy is definitely a place that. Is up on my list. Um, the real Akumatsu says, "Glad to catch you live again. I consumed an ungodly amount of your content over the past two months. Thank you for all that you do and share. I hit GM for the first time. You are a great teacher. Congrats, man! Welcome to the ranks. Sicily is Greek history as well as Roman. Yes, you have a Roman city in Algeria. Best tourist spot for sure. I want to see. T I want to see Tunis as well. I want to go to like Carthage." Um, Well played, Purple. I want you to be one of the winners of this game. The fact that Purple and I spawned in contention for North America and didn't kill ourselves is miraculous. Purple takes a plus five here. Purple is a good player. And 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 forts the 29 to Ukraine, I think. And now we triple choke the orange player. Oh, internal turtle. All right. Internal turtle. So we're not doing a deadliest trap. Oh yeah, that was a great play, Purple. The fucking that w you are a peach, sir. Now Green needs to take Africa. I'm gonna protect myself from Orange. Um, Pompeii would be good to see. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
Carlock says, if you don't know how the Romans pronounce Caesar, then you don't know shit. Don't tell me to attack green. Are you dumb? Purple, don't start being dumb now. Bro. The correct way to play this position is to attack orange. Me, green, and you have to attack orange. Right? You go here. Yes, smart. You go here. He goes here. I go here. Orange fuck. Orange fucking dies. And then, then we have a three-player game. There is close to nothing left in Carthage. After the Romans dropped salt to avoid the grass. Yes, they salted the earth. Rio likes Italy. Nice. Come to Scotland. You can try the ancient deep-fried Mars bar. You know, I tried that once on a... Uh, <laughs> I tried that once at a uh, tailgate party in West Virginia. It was the first time I tried a deep fried Mars bar. I didn't know it was an old Scot. It was old Scottish fare as well. Uh, Lenny says, Pete, would you make this deal? For the next six months, you can get, you can't get better than second on any games of Classic Fixed. I want Green to have Africa. I don't understand why Green isn't taking it. You can have it, dude. I want you on plus five as well. I want I want everyone to be equal and happy. Okay, would you take this deal? For the next six months, you can't get better than second on any games of Classic Fix. However, every other game of the meta settings you play, between turn seven and 12, you'll be able to get one satisfying, a satisfying one turn sweep. I already, I can do all of this. I can, dude. <laughs> what do I, okay. <laughs> Imagine if the only way I ever won a meta settings game was the same way. You would eventually get bored, right? You wouldn't want to watch the same game every time. The sweeps are fucking satisfying, but frankly, it's kind of easy for me to do. It just ha the right circumstances have to occur. If you're a real man, you kill greed now. Jesus Christ, Darth Sazo. <laughs> No, I wouldn't take that deal. I want a fair game of risk. I want to win. I want to lose. I want to see what happens. But most importantly, I want to solve a puzzle. And if I'm not getting a real game, it's not interesting to me. So, no deal, sir. Swag McPuffin says, Scotland is good, though maybe overrated. Wales is great and definitely underrated. You know what? When I visit the British Isles for real, I intend on visiting Wales. I intend on visiting Scotland. I intend on visiting the Isle of Man. Do I play PS5? No, I do not have a PS5. All right, so we have a deadly strap, but neither green nor purple know how to set it. So, which means I have to chill. So if you guys understand the Deadly's Trap in the four-player scenario, purple sits on Ukraine, green sits on Arabia, and I sit on Kamchatka. And in these three territories, we lock in the orange player. We are all generating plus five. He's generating plus two. And then he dies. I'll check out Ireland. I'll check it all out. I want to go. I want to go. And when I go... um. Yeah, purple making a mistake, putting pressure on green. He doesn't. He doesn't trust green for whatever reason. Purple understands the interior, the interior European turtle, but he doesn't understand the deadliest trap, which is kind of the next level. How do you win from here, right? Without players randomly suiciding into into each other, and maybe you. Right. There's still a very nice, orderly way to progress the game state from this point. Pete, favorite mode of transport? My car? I love my car now. It's by far my favorite mode of transport. I, so I've had my car since last November. So we're, we're coming up on a year. Um, this show is being shot in October. Um, and I, 
What car I bought? A, I bought a Model S. I bought a Tesla Model S. Oh, no. Don't threaten green. What are you doing? Purple now. <laughs> Purple's just fucking around, I think. Okay, Purple's playing in vampire chicken style. <laughs> I, either he's either he's to, he's trolling or he legit doesn't know how to play this position. Oh, and he bots. Okay, that's cool. That's not vampire chicken style. <laughs> Purple gives himself lowest. Okay. Yeah, I got a Tesla Model S. Uh, I got about a 10-year-old Tesla Model S last November once I was finally done with my snow plowing business. So I, I've only driven pickup trucks my entire life. I've only owned pickup trucks. Never bought a car. So this was the first car. And I love it. It is so fun to drive. It drives itself, so it saves me a ton of time and energy, not focusing in, in bumper to bumper traffic, not focusing on long haul um, highway drives. I come refreshed. Um, it's cheap to operate. I charge at home, yeah. So I think all things considered, it was a wonderful purchase. No ragrets. Okay, so the purple stack protects me. Purple ran out of moves. <laughs> Parlock says, if you got $10 million, you could never drive a car for the rest of your life, would you do it? 100%. I don't love driving cars. Dude, that would be win-win for me. If I got $10 million and I could either afford a driver or just afford Ubering everywhere, I'd be very happy to never drive a car again. They're wasteful and they're fashion. I don't need any of that. Look, my car is super fun, but I don't, I, the, day I, the day I drive for the last time will be a happy day for me. And if I was a very wealthy person and could pay someone to do it for me, I would, because my time is worth more. I'd be, I'd be spending my time doing YouTube comments, whatever the fuck, right? It would be worth my time. Um, and he says, if you do come to Scotland, I strongly recommend the Isle of Arran for at least a day. Cool. Okay. That's your pick, eh? Really? Dilly says, Pete, when you end up successfully setting up the deadliest trap. Hmm. Is this going to work? Did this work? All right. I mean, we get him for a turn, right? When you set up the other strap, who ends up making the kill? I've been able to do it in open lobbies. It still feels like luck of the draw. Yeah, it often is. You really need great communication um, if, you, if you're trying to make that work. Okay, so he's got a 20 troop lead on me. It might be enough, depending on how he plays it. He's good. Okay, it, so this is a second place. 
still happy I went for it. He also had to have a set on three, right? He also had to have a set on three for that to not work. Six nine four's out. My opponent is good. Lucky set on three. Way she goes. Too bad. Too bad he had that set. I think it was a fine play without it. But now we certainly lose. Can you demonstrate the loose trap? I've done it a ton of times. A ton of times. Just watch the, uh, what's it called? Watch the... The word is escaping me. Fix Friday playlist. Watch the show. Yeah, exactly. Dude, having that trade changed everything. Too bad. So probably says drive into cars, and you get $10 million if you use alternative modes of transportation for long distances. Yeah. I, I do parallax. Oh well, I mean, hypothetically, I could live in a city that doesn't require. If I had ten million dollars, I could live in a city that doesn't that isn't designed around cars. I could move to Venice and use gondolas. I don't fucking know what you're saying. The trade hundred percent screwed me. Yeah, yeah. I was in a I was in a very high odds odds line. I think, but good game to good game to Orange. I'm I'm still happy with second. Yeah, unless Green was about to sue Orange. <laughs> I took, I shot my shot. We're happy with that. Defeating. Uh, novice to be an intermediate, losing to an expert. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.